twists and turns, that's what the entrepreneurial journey looks like. It certainly isn't a straight path, more like an adventurous roller coaster ride. In one moment, it's 2004, and my husband Scott and I are on the, just waking up from a nap on the couches in the green room at the QVC headquarters in the midst of a wildly successful 24-hour, million-dollar sales marathon for our pretzel company. And in another moment, 16 years later, we wake up to a new shelter-in-place order. In our third venture, a juice company serving the hospitality industry and selling to bars, restaurants, and hotels around the country comes to a grinding halt. The unknowns of how long this shutdown would go and how to react and plan overwhelmed us. As a small spirited business with a 14 month old brand, our sales tanked and we wondered, how do we find the way forward? My decades of lessons from the entrepreneur's journey quickly kicked in. We had moved through enormous fear, struggle, failure and loss in the past and it pulled through. What I know to be true is that it was powerful trial by fire and entrepreneurship that had prepared us to navigate these rough waves ahead. In this new era we are in, whether you have a business or you want to bring entrepreneurial expertise and thinking to an organization, a classroom, an initiative, or your family, you can tap into the skills of an entrepreneur to find solutions. The issues we face today call for creative problem solving and bold imagination. Entrepreneurial skills are like muscles to be flexed. And as you cultivate these skills, along with gathering circles of support and tapping into the unique alchemy of your gifts, your truth, and your authentic story, you harness the power to bring your dreams to life. Have any of you worked in the old cubicles with the dark beige walls and the stale air? Well, I was working in the early 90s in an ad agency on the 61st floor of the Amico building in downtown Chicago. I had dreamed of creative campaigns and commercials that move and inspire. My experience was that complete opposite and I was miserable. After receiving my master's in advertising from Northwestern University, I felt like I'd missed the sign with a big arrow that said this way. Would I be stuck in this dead end for the rest of my life? It was a heavy, hopeless feeling that weighed me down. And I stayed there for a long time. It felt like forever. In one moment of total desperation, I came across an article about a woman twisting soft pretzels at a farmer's market, and I became obsessed with soft pretzels and the idea of creating a pretzel company. I started dreaming about pretzels in my advertising meetings and coming up with different flavors, like the chocolate chip pretzel. I started to get excited, energized, hungry for something more meaningful in my life. The pretzel gave me hope. I set out to transform this ancient, twisted piece of dough, and I had no idea that my life would be transformed at the same time. The pretzel sparked my creativity. It fueled my passion to build something out of nothing, and it helped me to pave my own path as an entrepreneur. It would take several years after reading that first mention of pretzels before starting the company, I struggled really feeling the weight of an idea I feared may never come to be. But 17 years later, after selling for 10 years on QVC and in the frozen aisle of grocery stores around the country, we sold to a public company and started over with pretzel ice cream and then moved on to cold pressed juice. That's been my journey. What could yours be? Where do you start? What are the tools to guide you? And who do you need with you on this journey? First, a dose of imagination. When we imagine, we can create. It opens up a whole new world of possibilities. 
Next, you search for a solution to a pain point. As Adam Grant defines in his book, Originals, deja vu occurs when we encounter something new, but it feels like we've seen it before. And vuja day is the reverse. We face something familiar, but we see it with a fresh perspective that enables us to gain insights into old problems. This happened for me with a pretzel. Who would have thought that the 4,000-year-old pretzel would be up for a transformation? When you feel inspired by an idea and awakened by its possibilities, you will likely also start to experience hurdles, counterforces pressing against you as you work to move forward. You will need persistence, persistence that takes all of your being to believe and to move forward step by step. You will need a willingness to get messy, to struggle, to get comfortable with failure and fear, and letting go of what's not working, letting go of what does not work. How do you hang in there through the most difficult times when you, you just want to quit, you just want to give up? There was another key ingredient on my journey that gave me this strength, believing eyes. This is the support of mentors, teachers, guides, and circles. It's people in our lives who help us to believe in ourselves, who lift us to imagine and realize what's possible. The pandemic has proven how much we need each other and how much we need connection. I found that the most powerful believing eyes come from people sharing a commitment and a desire to grow. I attended a weekend women's retreat called Woman Within over 25 years ago that was truly life-changing. And after the retreat, we joined empowerment circles. I was in that empowerment circle for 17 years, and I brought to that circle my fears, my struggles, my doubts, and my hopes. I learned to reach out to others for help. And this circle would lead to many other circles and a learning that life is much easier and magic happens when we join together in groups to support each other, to witness each other, and to support a collective well-being. The circles in my life have been incredible mirrors of soul work to help me find my truth and live it. Circles also can be the most fertile ground to birth an idea and get support to help it flourish and to move through struggle and challenge along the way. Believing eyes will help you to discover the alchemy of you. What's the alchemy of you? It's your unique gold within, created from your life's experiences and built through resilience, creativity, trust, grit, courage, integrity, surrender, navigating the unknowns. It's strength built through the journey and having a group to support you along the way. Kate Berardo, VP of Leadership Development at Facebook, shared how champion circles have been transformative in the culture and productivity of the company. Participants shared that being in these circles enabled them to bring their authentic whole selves to work. And this helped them to be more impactful leaders with such support. There is nothing like the power of a circle of women to help each other rise. It's sisterhood in full force. How do you find your circle, your believing eyes? I met Annie Burnside at a local workshop on intuition and she later started a Soul Circle series in her dining room based on reading and discussing a personal growth book. Our circle is still connected 15 years later. And even though we wear masks and are six, and are six feet apart, our Soul Circle is more connected than ever. During COVID, 
I joined a study group with Sonia Choquette's Good Vibe Tribe on Facebook, and whose members live all over the world. And we join together weekly to support each other as we build our heart's desires. I know that you all have ideas, dreams, something you'd like to create if you weren't afraid. Join a circle of individuals and support each other and move through the process as you build a dream, start an initiative, explore solutions to a problem. One of you could have a formula to build our immune systems or heal dementia. You might have an idea for a new educational model that merges in-person and virtual classes and transforms how our students learn. You might want to help your family adapt to these challenge times and brainstorm different ideas. The world needs your innovation, your creativity, your ideas. What might you create? A year ago, I read Arundhati Roy's essay, The Pandemic is a Portal. And she invites us to see the pandemic as a portal through which you can travel lightly with little luggage, ready to imagine a new world and ready to fight for it. Ready to fight for it. That's the never give up spirit that infuses an entrepreneurial mindset. It's the belief that there is a way forward. My hope for you is that the pandemic becomes the portal through which you surround yourself with believing eyes and discover the alchemy of you.